a bit about your whip, man. Well, it's gonna blow races. What? <laughs> what is it? Alright, oh, safe. Yeah, yeah, So with that, what I've done to this car is I've put a six-speed in there now. I've put a swirl pot in the back. And for those that don't know about um, what a swirl pot is, it basically stops fuel surge. In these cars, fuel surge is deadly. I nearly ripped the car off before, man. Come on to a round, I mean, I was on a private road, right? Obviously, I've come on to the private, the private road, like, it's shaped like a roundabout, you know what I mean? So as I've come on to this, Drive and roll roundabout. I was driving uh, a little bit quick, you know what I mean? I lifted off to let the back come out a bit. As I went to put my foot back down and accelerate here, yeah? I put my foot back down and accelerate to like, yeah, grip it and nothing happened. I nearly ripped the car off. Obviously, fuel, fuel surge when you, if it's, if you got like the low half a tank and you're driving enthusiastically. Yeah. 
sometimes you get you get fuel surge and there's no power anyways so that's the swirl pot and i've also got a fuel flex, flex sensor and getting meth mapped into the car so that's what i'm off to do now so i will catch you when i get to my home MB Developments, only place to take your Subaru, well, only, to, only place to take my Subaru anyway. Um, yeah, look, Subaru's all over the place, 500 bhp, 500 bhp. Those of you that uh, watched the videos on Race Planet might remember when we went to Nürburgring, when we come back from Nürburgring, I did a track mate. That's the Subaru that I couldn't catch, but that's over 500 brake and it's all stripped out. Um, yeah, another Subaru up here. Subaru's all over the place. Get well, get the problem with the high boost sorted first. Once that problem sorted, I'm gonna be coming back, throwing the mesh in, and then we'll be getting remapped with the mesh. Um, so, yeah, quite excited, you know, quite excited, quite excited, quite excited to feel the difference. Trying to sort my car out. Look who's come. Man, that like big fan, you know. Where is he, man? Let's go find him. Yeah, so we're out in the school with big fan. What are you saying, big fan? You good, yeah? What are you saying, man? What's this, what's this school you saying then? Give me problems at the moment, you know. I'm not going to lie to you, man. But she's, she's, she's 400 brakes strong, 420 strong, you get me? But at the moment, she's, uh, you know, she's being a bit of a bitch, man. <laughs> Soon to be sorted, soon to be sorted, yeah. So we just come out for a little blast. Come and see my car. The problem, there's an issue with the ignition, basically. So Matt is at the garage now trying to sort that. Then the map is coming back at the end of the day to map everything in. So hopefully by the time we get back to the garage, we'll find out what's cracking. But yeah. Sound? Sound? Oh, don't worry, this car, we're going to show you this car in. Um, in depth, in detail, when they're both fixed and running proper. Well, yeah. Until then. So, so obviously, I just got back. I just got back to MB Developments. I think we found what is the problem with the ignition. The coil packs in the car. Two are STI ones. Two, two are from STI engines, and two are from WRX engines. So even though they were working before, obviously that's not going to work long term. So hopefully we're going to go out and test the car now. And hopefully the ignition problem is sorted. And then when Andy car comes back in a bit, you can map the meth in and it's good to go. Fingers crossed. The good news is I found a problem. It was that the coil packs. Now the car has high boost is running fine just gotta wait now for the mapper to come back uh to finish off the high boost map because it is a bit it's a bit uh, a bit all over the place needs smoothing it out and obviously mapping the mech and then <laughs> hey. a bit about your whip man well i'm just gonna blow races what <laughs> oh it's safe i like i like i like i like the gas talk now we're probably just gonna get the um the bigger 
uh, arches on there. You're gonna put the, the kit on there? Yeah, put the kit on there. You say you're gonna put the battery on there? Yeah, put the battery on there. You're gonna and put uh, the battery on there. Just keep it with maintaining and just look after it, man. I yeah. love that, keep it forever, innit? Same as this one here, man. Never gonna sell that, my bitch. We'll see, Fanny, we'll see this. Smoke that. Yeah. Maybe if you play the if you play the, the video in reverse, maybe. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's been a long day and unfortunately the mapper can't map the car today. But we found out what the issue is. Issue was with the the problem on high boost and medium boost, and that issue has been solved. So now the car actually has high boost. What's this for? You dropped the pain on the city. Oh, thanks, mate. I see. MB Developments. They even came to gave me my pound that I dropped on the city. Um, what was I saying? Yes. We found out the issue that was causing the problem in the medium boost and the high boost, which has now been solved. So the car now can run high boost. Um, the car also has the fuel flex sensor mapped in, uh, sorry, wired in. Everything's wired in now. All that needs to be done is the car needs to be remapped with the meth um, and also a tweak of the high, high boost map and then we're sorted. But I can drive the car, it's got high boost. I'm buzzing the car, it, had high, it hasn't had high boost in about four months. So yeah, I'm just gonna drive home. But I've got my dragging. So you know what I'm gonna do on the way home. But now, on a real, what I'm gonna do now is get some draggy times now with the car as it is now. And the next week when I get it mapped and get the meth mapped in, I'm gonna, um, some more runs, more draggy runs, and see what the difference is. So, yeah, what's happening? Mate, this car is a madness. Car spinning fucking wheels to drive. <laughs> oh my god, I've missed the high boost. I have missed high boost. Nothing. Fucking hell. Mate, with this car in low boost, well, the times I did drive it, I didn't hammer it because obviously I didn't know what the, the problem was. But it felt quick. And now. Oh boy! Yes, guys, so just got back in my house. I'm not going to show you too much of me driving the car because I'm going to do that when I do a full in-depth review of the car which will be coming as soon as everything's sorted the meth uh, map is in and the car's been tweaked as soon as all that's done I'm going to take it out and do a proper in-depth review so I'll tell you everything about the car then I'm going to show you some footage of me driving it and what I feel about what I actually think about the car driving it etc um so yeah on the way back i didn't do too many draggy runs i just done a couple uh, 100 to 200 uh kilometers and the car done it in eight seconds so i'm gonna keep a note of that and then obviously once the car's been mapped up properly uh with the meth etc i'm gonna see what it's gonna do then the car is slightly over boosting so i do think uh, just even a tweak of the high boost map is going to make a difference so with the meth hoping for if it, if it does low sevens late sixes i'd be happy with that i'm hoping for late sixes but yo we'll see and it is what it is um so yeah man stay tuned man loads to come i'm not even going to talk too much you know you know the saying less talk more action i'm just going to start doing yeah so like this video if you liked it um leave a comment uh what you think about the subaru what 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 zip sorry what 100 to 200 time do you think it's gonna get on the myth and once it's all mapped up properly and also if you ain't already 
subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's Race Planet. Until next time, peace.